It is now time for the next student design challenge. This time, your task will be to create a cohesive social media campaign consisting of at least two different posts, paid ads or digital ads. This could be for Facebook, Instagram, an Instagram story, YouTube video thumbnail, anything that has an online digital presence on a social media platform. If you wanna do an entire suite of sizes or posts on different platforms, feel free to do so, but only two is required to submit a project for this challenge. All challenge submissions will be reviewed live by me on my Facebook page on January 7th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be posted on my Facebook page, on the Facebook student groups, and to YouTube afterwards if you cannot make it live. You will have several weeks to put together your campaign. You can post it on the Facebook groups for feedback to submit, or you can post it in the Q&A or project sections of your current class you're taking, or just message me your work. Enjoy the following video about some things to think about when creating your social media ad or campaign. This video is part of a digital design theory section in the upcoming Digital Design Masterclass coming out the week of January 6th where one of our projects will be create an entire social media campaign and series of display ads for a fictitious client that is based on a real past client work. What goes into designing an image for use on social media? What are things that are known to be effective in drawing those eyeballs to our content? There's some basic rules and tips that can help you be more effective designer of social media content. First of all, understand your target audience. Who are you trying to talk to? Try to understand the target audience by studying demographic information or getting that information for whoever you're working for. Will your poster ad be displayed to more women than men? Are you targeting those in a younger demographic? That might shape and mold how you approach the design. An older demographic might need a more conservative design approach, while a younger audience might connect more with something bolder and show-stopping. Lastly, where are they located geographically? Those in the United States might connect more with a certain design than someone from South America or Asia. Perhaps using photos that best represent the target audience more might help in this connection with your ad. Be authentic, and it seems obvious, but being authentic is easier said than done, especially in working with clients doing paid advertising. Clients want to push products, deals, and services but we need to find ways to create a design that will make these seem less like your standard offers we see every single day and they make them more compelling to our target audience. For example, we can create a simple ad for a pet food company and place a bag of food right in the center of the social media ad with a simple coupon. It seems very traditional, but what if we used an image of a pet owner enjoying their dog and then the photo of a product? Better still, what if we connected with them using a clever headline as well? These are small little tweaks and changes to ads, but they can have a big impact on how effective the ad is. Use contrast well. And we talk about contrast in almost every lesson of this class. Contrast is the simple difference between two design elements. The more dramatic the difference, the higher contrast it has. We can use contrast effectively as designers to draw the user's eyes into the most important part of the ad, usually the call to action or that buy now, swipe up for more button or area. And we can also use contrast with our type by highlighting one word in our headline to bring out a more favorable word that helps to push people toward our main goal for the ad. For example, this ad that uses contrast to bring this word in the headline to draw the user into the overall concept of the ad. Contrast can be easily overused. Too many elements that differ dramatically can cause an ad to look busy, outdated, and very hard to look at. Contrast is best used sparingly and with a purpose. Use photos that connect with a viewer. This goes back to being authentic as well. The photos we choose can have huge impacts on drawing the viewers in, and this is true for traditional print ads as well. Take for instance this ad for a gym. We can use the standard photo that is easily glanced over, or we can use a higher impact image to draw those viewers in and stop, even just for one second, to take an extra look at the photo and the ad. 
full color photos tend to draw users in more than black and white. Remember, in social media, you have the least time available to draw people into your post or ad, the least amount of any other advertising platform. Think about how fast you scroll through your Instagram feed. Not a lot of time, is it? Photos are the first thing people see, and they start to read the text next. Use this to your advantage. How you crop your image is huge as well. But we can make things look ordinary or dramatic simply by cropping it in the most compelling ways. In this example of the girl in an exotic location, cropping it this way, it looks nice, but crop this way, it seems almost magical and inspiring. Feel free to edit your photos as well to add pops of color. You can do this easily by adding new layers to the photos in Photoshop or a photo editor and using blending modes to draw out color to make sunsets even more dramatic. I've even seen people clone in different clouds to really set the scene. But please be careful with being authentic as well, because famous social media influencers have gotten in trouble for adding in fake clouds or photoshopping their bodies. There's a fine line and it's up to you to decide where that line falls for you and your viewers. Whatever you do, just make sure you're telling a true, believable, authentic story. Use variety. Think of your social media posts and campaigns as a tapestry of art. There needs to be some brand consistency throughout everything, but that does not mean you need to create cookie cutter ads that all have the same format. Some people enjoy seeing different photos being used, headlines, arrangements, and style. This is great for user testing to figure out what is the best layout and effectiveness for different types of ads. Social media is a growing part of a designer's skill set, and knowing how to best design for social media can make you more marketable as a designer overall. This takes a lot of practice and user testing to perfect.